Hello again. Today we are looking at distress alerts on the DSC system. What happens when one is received and how we acknowledge or relay them. One thing to note is that the distress alert we are sending to the system is generated from a second VHF radio which is operating into a dummy load. So it can't send any messages live to air. So let's generate a distress alert and see what happens. So here's our distress alert received. Bells are ringing and lights are flashing. The first thing we need to do is stop that annoying alarm by going to alerts and clicking on that. Now you can see our DSC receive light is flashing. Let's click that. Our distress light here is flashing, so let's look at the message. Here it is. So being a VHF DSC distress alert, it's repeated five times and the system has picked up the five distress alerts sent. So if we left click on the message, we can look at, look at it in detail. And here's the message. It was received on the 7th of July at 0554 UTC. It's a distress call. It's from this MMSI, which is a test MMSI we use. Being a distress call, it's addressed to all stations. It was received on our VHF-1 system uh, on a frequency of 156.525 megahertz, which is VHF DSC channel 70, the distress and safety channel. It was message number 374, and there are notes. So the message detail itself, it was a distress call received on that date, that time, at Cairns Radio. There's our MMSI. It was received on 156.525 megs, channel 70. The tag number, near zero errors. The error check character is OK, which means the message was received OK. It's a distress message, and being a distress message, it's addressed to all stations. There's the MMSI of the ship in distress. It's an undesignated distress. Message two is the position. That's the position. Obviously, it, it bears no resemblance to where we really are, but that's the position that was inputted into the radio. So that's the position sent in the distress message. The time it was sent. The mode for ongoing communications, which is FM voice, and ACRQ means acknowledgement requested. So we've received the message. There's a couple of things we can do. If we're a co station, we have to reply to the message. Let's assume the message is from a ship in our area. We want to reply to him. All we need to do is click this reply button here. It brings up another box which fills in all the details. It's a distress acknowledge message, it goes to all stations, it's a distress message category, distress acknowledge, the vessel in distress, her MMSI, the nature of distress, the position of the ship in distress and the time, the mode of ongoing communications, FM voice, the transmitter, it defaults to MF so we have to change that to VHF and it's ready to transmit. Now to, tr to transmit the message we actually would hit the send button but for obvious reasons we won't. If we wanted to relay the message all we need to do is go back up to the top to this drop down box here and go to relay and the appropriate fields are automatically filled in and again to send it all we do is hit the send button but for obvious reasons we won't do that. So there you are a very brief rundown on what to do with a received distress message.